Hello, this is Ms. Val from the Independence Branch Library, and I want to welcome everyone to our Adventure Club for today. Today, we are celebrating art because this is Youth Art Month. So I want to see some of your art. Make sure you send us some in the comments section on our Facebook page when you see this video. Also, we're celebrating Women's History Month. And today we're celebrating Clementine Hunter, who is a very famous folk artist from right here in Louisiana. But before we get started, I'd like to tell you we're gonna do something new today. We're going to do what's called a brain break because, you know, we've all been somewhere today. We've all been studying or working or playing with our devices and watching video games or what have you. And sometimes we just need to step back from whatever we're doing and take a break to refocus and rethink and refresh ourselves. So this is how our brain break is going to go for today. We're going to do a little clap routine, a little stretch routine, and then we'll be all, we're gonna shake off all our worries and we'll be all ready to go on our next adventure. So here's how it goes. I'll show you. We're going to clap first and it's clap, 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 clap. And then we're gonna slap our thighs. Slap, 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 slap. And the next thing we're going to do is tap. Now, I'm on carpet here, and you may be on on the bed, on the sofa, or on the floor, or in the car, watching this video, if you can find something to tap on, tap on it. I'm gonna use this table. It's tap, 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 tap. Great, good job. Now, after we do our tap routine, we'll go through that again. We're gonna do a stretch and a side to side twist, and then we're gonna shake off all our worries. So here, let's see if we can run through this one time and do it real, really good. Let's see if we can do this. Clap, 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 clap. And slap, 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 slap. Okay, find something to tap on and tap, 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 tap. Good job, good job. Now I want you to fold your hands together and turn them out and bring them over your head just like this and let's see how far you can stretch way up high. Good job, good job. Now, if you'd like to mirror me, just mirror me and let's lean to the side this way. Good job. And lean to the side this way and stretch up high as you can, high as you can. Good job, and lean to the right, and lean to the left, and come back up, okay? And then bring those arms back down, and let's just shake them off a little bit, like that. And now, we'll do our side-to-side -side twists. Here we go, just twist your body this way. Twist your body this way. You know, twist and twist as far as you can go one way and then the other. Good job. Good job. Now let's just shake our worries out. Oh, let's just shake them off. Oh, great. And take a deep breath. And now we're ready to start our new adventure. Hi, this is Miss Val from the Independence Branch Library. And today in celebrating uh, Youth Art Month for um, Adventure Club, as well as Women's History Month, I've chosen for you a folk artist from right here in Louisiana. Her name is Clementine Hunter. And also, we're going to do a little art. I'm going to demonstrate painting on a milk jug because that's one of the things that Clementine used to paint on. 
Clementine Hunter was born in 1886 or 87. They're not sure of the date. She waited until she was 50 years old before she started to paint. And she lived to be over 100. She worked in and around Melrose Plantation. And she painted from her memory, from her heart of life in and around Melrose Plantation. And she painted on all sorts of things because at first she never had a canvas to paint on. She painted on jugs and bottles and jars and wood. And she displayed all of her stuff on her front porch in the beginning. And she began to be, um, people began to see her art and realize how talented she was and helped her exhibit her art. And she was the first African-American woman in Louisiana to display her art, to exhibit it at the New Orleans Museum of Art in 1955. At that time, it was called the Delgado Museum. So to honor Clementine, um, we're going to do a little milk jug painting, but I wanna show you another book by Clement, uh, about Clementine Hunter called Talking to Tibet, because Tibet is a nickname that was given to Clementine. And I know her name looks like Clementine, but she made sure to tell you it was pronounced Clementine. And this is one of her famous paintings. It's called Picking Cotton. Um, this one is called Gourds. And this one on the back of this book is called Pecan Threshing because that's what Clementine painted. She painted life in and around the plantation. Uh, so today, what I have for you is a sample of milk jug painting. Um, I did this one earlier and I'll show you how you can do this at home. What you'll need is to put down some wax paper, you'll need a milk jug. It could be a gallon or a half a gallon, whatever you have. Just make sure you take the label off ahead of time. I had to soak it in some dish water before the label would come off and then it comes right off. And you can actually paint. If you can't get the sticky stuff off, don't worry about it. You can paint right over that sticky stuff. After that, you'll need some paint. Now, I use, I use tempera paint on this, but I think acrylics will work a little bit better because they are, um, they'll adhere to the plastic a little better. And you probably need some paper towels just for cleanup. But I'll show you what I did. And then I'll tell you a little bit about your grab and go craft for this week, uh, right here at the Independence Branch only. So I started out with some green. And actually, you know the circle on the milk jug? You can paint around that circle and you can actually use that as the outer leaves of a flower. But now you don't have to paint just flowers on your milk jug. You can paint whatever you like. And you can paint from your heart and you can paint from your memory. So that's a little bit of the green. And then I'll get a little bit of the red. Make the inside of the flower and paint on that inside of that flower, just like this. And you can use any colors you'd like and design anything you like. And also right in the middle of the flower, we have a little bit of yellow and that's where all that pretty pollen is and where those bees go get that yummy pollen. And just you, as you can see, you can paint on your milk jug and make your own designs if you'd like. Look, there we go. There's a little heart right there. You can make, and it'll take maybe just overnight to dry and you will have created your own art. Now, if you'd like to try this at home, please, please send us a picture in the comments and let us see what you've done for your art. For your grab and go craft this week, I'm including in your, in your bag 
a watercolor paint palette and it has a brush. Now remember, make sure you put enough water on that pat on those colors to to adhere to anything you'd like to paint. And also you're going to get a, just a plain piece of cardstock. And the reason why I'm giving it to you plain is because I want you to paint from your heart. Paint from your memory. Paint whatever you would like. Paint one of your favorite things and take a picture of it and send it to us in the comment section on our Facebook page. You will also get in your grab and go craft, it's called My Personal Color Palette. You can make your own color and name it. It could be a color that has never been discovered before. Just mix a couple of the colors together from your paint palette and let's see what you come up with. And don't forget to like and to share and to comment and to send us some pictures of what you're doing. And remember, just like Clementine Hunter, you can paint from your very own heart. Thank you and have a great day. Paint away. Bye-bye. A retelling of Art from Her Heart by Kathy Whitehead and illustrated by Shane W. Evans. Clementine cooked and cleaned all day on Melrose Plantation in Natchitoches Parish, right here in Louisiana. But at night, she loved to paint and no one taught her to paint. She found her gift at 50 years old. She painted on anything she could find and she used leftover paint that was given to her by the artist that came to visit and live on Melrose Plantation. She painted on wood, she painted on jars, bottles, she even painted on window shades. She painted from her memory. She painted from her heart. She painted life in and around Melrose Plantation. She painted hard times like picking cotton and figs and pecans. She painted happy times like weddings and baptisms. She painted sad times like funerals. She painted fun times like going dancing on Saturday night. And that's where she met her husband. She painted fishing on the Cane River with her grandson. At first, Clementine displayed her paintings on her front porch and even on the clothesline for a 25 cents admission. Well, after seeing her art, her friends gave her more paint and brushes and canvas, and they even helped her to exhibit her art and sell her art. But Clementine couldn't even go into the galleries that displayed her art, her very own art. She had to wait until after hours and her friends would sneak her in. She had to wait because of segregation laws that kept her out. These laws are now gone. Thanks to Clementine Hunter, we have a glimpse of her life and her history, a glimpse of her heart through her art, art from her heart. Hi, this is Miss Val from the Independence Branch Library, and today this activity is called Magic Milk. And here's what you'll need. You'll need a bowl of milk. You'll need some food coloring, some cotton swabs, and a little dishwashing liquid. You'll pour your milk into your bowl. You'll add a few drops of the food coloring in different places on the milk and then we will take 
the cotton swab and we'll dip it into the dishwashing liquid and then watch closely now because we're going to dip it into the milk look at that did you see what happened look it's magic look my goodness look at it watch it watch it again can you see that? Oh, and it's still going, it's still going. Look, what? Oh, oh my goodness. You can have all kinds of fun with this. And we're making all sorts of colors. Isn't this the coolest activity you've ever seen? Thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like us on our Facebook page, comment. If you do an experiment, Take some pictures of it. If you do some art this month, make sure you take some pictures of that too. Send it to us in the comments. Like, share, comment, and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Miss Val from the Independence Branch Library. And today, for our Women's History Spotlight, I'd like to recommend three books for you. I think you'll enjoy them. They're great reads. The first one I'd like to recommend is Hidden Figures, the true story of four black women in the space race. And this book tells you about Katherine Johnson and how Katherine and the other three women helped men get into space. Also, I'd like to recommend this book called Maya Lin, Artist Architect of Light and Lines. Maya is an Asian American architect designer who designed the Vietnam uh, War Memorial and also um, the Vet Vietnam Veterans Memorial and also the Civil Rights Memorial. This book would be very interesting. It's like a biography picture book. I think you would really enjoy that. And then I'd like to introduce you to Sonia Sotomayor, who was the first Latin Hispanic Supreme Court Justice of the United States. This is a great read and I think you'll be interested in it and I hope you enjoy these books and have a great day. Hi, this is Miss Val from the Independence Branch Library and today we're making a fruit flavored rainbow. Here's what you'll need some fruit flavored candy, some warm water. Please ask your adult caregiver or parent if you can have some, and they may have to help you with this. You'll need a plate. You line up your fruit flavored candy all around the edge of the plate. And if you have a plate with a little indention, all the better. It just works a little faster. But this is really cool. I hope you enjoy this activity. We're going to take our warm water and pour it all over our candy. And then we'll have to wait. And that's the hardest part. The hardest part is waiting. But let's wait and see what happens. Do you see anything happening? I do. I see it. I see a rainbow. Let's watch and wait with anticipation. And look at all the colors. I see orange and I see green and I see yellow and purple. And I even see red. Watch, it's gonna meet in the middle if we can just wait long enough. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Look at it. Oh, I am enjoying this so much. Look at the beautiful rainbow I made. I hope you can do this at home. I hope you enjoy this experiment and had fun with it. And then you can eat the candy afterwards. Thank you so much for joining us. Like us, share, comment. If you do an experiment, take some pictures of it, post it on our Facebook page. Thank you and have a great day.